TWR and I'm feeling a bit nervous, don't know why, but I've not ridden with them since October 2020 for various reasons which I'll, I'll share with you at some stage. But uh, it's a 65 mile loop to the Bake House, a place called the Bake House in Chelmsford, I believe, and um, it's going to take me about 13 14 miles to get there, so it's going to be near enough a century ride, and that's a long a long long ride to kind of get back in the saddle so wish me luck right for now Right, we're just about to start the ride and I was putting my GoPro back in the helmet um, clamp and the thing snapped. I'm not going to get the shots I was hoping for. No, I'm going to have to be put it in my bum bag as they call it and um, take it out as and when I want to film. There we go. Just stopped for a quick toilet break. I think we're in um, Woodford. We've done, oh, I don't know how many miles we've done, about five or six miles. You know what, this feels good being out in the country lanes again. Sun has got his hat on, got mine too. good thing we've got a no drop policy because right about now I'd be dropped on the last one look and they're all ahead I don't know if you can see them caught up just about Just pulling into the Blackmore Tea Rooms for a quick rest stop. Let's oh go into the bakehouse. Oh it's like we've got the world and his wife out here. Got the Sig Cycling Club. Chain gang over there. Okay, yeah, And a whole lot of other familiar faces that I've seen in person or on Instagram. My name is Myra. Oh, hello. I feel honoured to be in your company. TWR's most inspirational. Oh, yes. <laughs> and most unlucky. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm most, oh yes, and, and unlucky. Don't forget yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guys, check out the rules on this bike, man. And we're on the road again. Not long to go now, but what? 15, 15 miles or so. Just like that, we've arrived. Yeah. I know we're thinking we had about 10 or so miles to go. Oh, you need to get some heels on your on your on your shoes. <laughs> so 
we're all trying to figure out what we want to eat. Spot for choice. Can I get the... I was looking at the almond and the cherry cake. Anyone order a Jackie potato? Is that why he's playing Bantagarden earlier? Oh, there's another one. Dave could have run longer than 90 seconds in December. True. Really? What? I couldn't. Yeah, don't do that. Huh? I think I'm better myself about myself. Shake, shake, I need. It's documented. I needed to shake on that again. Hang on, wait. Wait, wait, wait. He's not going. He's gone. He's not going to Real Madrid. So Jay reckons Harlan is going to Real Madrid. What, this year? No. No, 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 no. Oh, now, now, now we've got. Two years? years? All right, two years maybe, but he ain't going in this summer. Yeah, well, 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 especially if um, get twenty pounds. Exactly. <laughs> By then, <laughs> inflation. <laughs> right, we've all been fed and watered. Now it's time to hit the road again. Home time. <laughs> oh, I started off good. Starting to feel a bit tired now. Still got another 30 odd miles to go. Ugh. <laughs> Quick hydration. Almost. How many miles? We've got plenty of miles left. Whoa. For you to get home. What about you, Luke? Oh, okay. Killer hills. The back is killing me. About 15 miles to go apparently until we get to Stratford. And another 14 miles home from there for me. I've got nothing left. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I'm just cycling on Shea Cow now. Oh dear. An average MPA went down to. Started off at 17. Went down to 13. It. it's a wrap I'm back where I started this morning after 82 miles on the road um, I'm absolutely shattered that was my first long ride since October last year for various reasons the main one is because I, I didn't have a bike um, I used to have a decathlon Triban RC520 um, which I, I bought back in November 2020 from January last year up until when I, I'd gotten rid of gotten rid of it, I kept getting um, some spokes kept breaking, and I'll take it to the shop and then I'll repair um, the spokes. 
until eventually one day, one of them, one of the mechanics spotted that the actual wheel itself had fractured in multiple places. It's like tiny fractures at the, where the spokes were, um, were going into the actual wheel itself. Hence why um, spokes keep getting busted. So it turned out that it was gonna cost almost as much as what I paid for the bike or what the bike is valued at now to replace both the wheels because both wheels were fractured and I was outside of the warranty period on the bike as well. And uh, so I just thought, you know what, let me see if I can get some money for it on eBay. Did that, managed to get a bit of money and I put some money on top and I managed to get myself a giant Propel Advanced One. Um, 2019 edition, excellent condition. I was, I feel so blessed to have been able to um, um, get that bike because the guy that had it before, he'd only been riding it for a year and it had been in his garage um, sitting there because he'd got a newer bike. And the bike was in um, near enough perfect condition, apart from the fact that when I did eventually get it, I had to get a new chain and get the brake pads um, replaced. And one of the um, cables, I had to replace as well. So I got that done and as I say, today was my first long ride and it felt so good being on the road. Um, you, you know, you would have seen from video clips and so on. The heels killed me. It's lovely um, doing the rolling heels and stuff, but it was some, the heels just, the repetition of the heels, but I needed it because I signed up to do the Ride London um, again this year. Last year I did Ride London 100, I done 100 miles. Um, but I'm not doing 100 again, I'm going to do 60 this year. So these 82 miles stood me in good stead um, in terms of preparation because being off the bike for six months, it's, it's really set me back and I felt it today. My legs feel like someone's, you know, had some boxing gloves on just literally just pounded away at my legs for, and my thighs for, you know, a good couple rounds. But I needed it. I needed to push myself. And I was, I was really apprehensive, you know, beforehand, you know, to the point of, a bit nervous because obviously not being on the bike for so long and not being out and it was a long ride. Even last night, I went and put my, my shoes on and I, you know, just to practice clipping in and clipping out. Cause I thought, oh my gosh, did I remember how to do it? And, and it's a good thing I did because I realized that on my left shoe, the cleat was loose. So I had to tighten it up. So I'm glad I did that, but enough of my dulcet tones. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. If you can, do me, do me the honor of hitting the uh, like and subscribe and sharing. You never know, you might find someone that may like the videos, but until next time, peace out.